All right, everyone, we are looking at um, lesson number 19, day two. We're still going to be seeing our tables. Mm -hmm. We're still going to be seeing our graphs, mm -hmm. which we will fill in here in a moment. But also who's new is our equations. Um, and so we're going to see the connection between all three of these. So let's kind of go back over what we've got going on here. Um, we're going to look at your graph. And you've already got your graph filled in. But I like to fill it in as we go because I like to point out things. So first of all, notice this seconds. The seconds is on your x-axis, all right, um, and then math facts is on your y-axis. Now, the reason why is because, oh, wait a second, did, did you hear that? The reason why, the y, at, at, oh, okay, all right, I'm sorry about that. I pointed out, I didn't plan it, I just, I'm just pointing it out there. So when we set things up, we talked about how time always goes on the bottom. When we set things up, it's always y divided by x. So this lets me know that seconds is going to be on the bottom and that the math facts is what's going to be on top. Now, I suggest that you write this out every single time because then we can come over the table and go, okay, math facts. The math facts is what's going on top. Oh, look, there's 20 of them. And then the seconds is going on the bottom. Oh, look, there's five of them. Um, 20 divided by five, four. So we are looking at four math facts. All right, for the one second. And that's all it takes. Um, what we're looking at over on our graph, you can see here that we do have a one that's there. We're skipping a line and then a two, skipping a line, then a three. So we're actually counting by what here? We're actually counting by, yeah, we're counting by halves when it comes down to it. Um, because again, we're skipping that particular line. Here we got a, a second line at a 10, the next line at a 20, and then at a 30. So we're actually counting by, yeah, we're counting by fives here when it comes down to it. So check, get your first order pair down. Uh, we went here, and then there's the spot that's right there. So that is the ordered pair, one comma, yeah, it's five, all right? Now, here's the thing about it. We love when we choose one for the x-coordinates. We always don't get that option, but the reason why is is because it's actually done. We actually already have the unit price, the unit rate, um, exactly what we are after. So it, we could go ahead and look at the other ones. Um, you had two and then up to ten. All right, you had three up to 15, so we have our line that's there. And again, your points stand out a little bit more, so I'm going to darken those in a little bit. Um, but the main thing is, no matter what we do, when we do the y divided by the x, so the 5 divided by the 1, or the 10 divided by the 2, or even the 15 divided by 3, every single time we're going to get 5. All right, so 5 math facts, all right, for the 1 and then second. You can see why that's nicer over here, because I could grab it and be done with it. So we've got one other person here. We've got Carrie right now with four math facts a second. Um, we've got Holly right now with five math facts a second. So we're trying to figure out here is what's going on here with Olivia. Now with Olivia here, guess what the M stands for? All right, math facts. So we're going to set up a little bit of a table here. So we can see that the math facts is going on the bottom. So we're going to put that on the bottom. And then the seconds here is what was up top for it. So um, the whole idea, and I'm just putting it in the same order that was that was here. Um, I know when I label it out, I'm going to put the math facts on the top and the seconds on the bottom when it comes to filling it out. So if I actually wanted to reorganize it there, um, we, we could flip it around. It's not a big deal. The main thing is this. This is what the M is standing for. So what we end up doing is, and you know what? We're going to, I take this back here. I'm going to stack this table there because I think that's how you can see a little bit better there. So we're going to do M for math facts and then we'll do S for, or I'll put down the second sets there. The main thing here is that in order to figure out the math facts, you need to do five times the T. So in one second, so really what we've got there is the math facts is going to be five times T. Well, in this case, T is, well, one second. So what's five times one? Well, it's five. So it's going to be a five. After two seconds, all right, again, you can plug it in. So the math facts is five times t. In this case, the time is two seconds. So five times two, yeah, so it's 10 math facts. So you can figure out the table, but here's the thing that we've been talking about. You always want to grab the, has the one. 
all right, because that's the rate there. So it is five math facts, all right, in the one particular second. So when we look at that, so five math facts for the one second, who's the fastest? Well, we'll go back up and let's find it there. Let's find it. It is Carrie. All right, Carrie is our winner because she can do, the, oh, wait a second. Does that make her the fat? No, it doesn't. It, wait, wait, yeah, we don't want the lowest number that's there. Um, well, well, people, look at this. We actually have a tie, all right? We want the fastest one who can do the most there. So there is a tie there between Olivia and, I forgot her name already, let me go back up and find it, Olivia and, you probably have it right there already, don't you? Yeah, Holly, all right, Olivia and Holly, they actually tied, um, because they both have the same rate there, so Olivia and Holly um, tied, all right, they're both five math facts, and then for the one second which is pretty fast when it comes down to it, all right? Um, listen, we always don't say they're, they're realistic answers. Um, so let's look, let's look what we got going on over here. Um, next situation, next problem there, it's, it's the same thing that we've got going on. Sorry, people, we had some problems there. Word wasn't responding anymore there. So, uh, oh, my goodness is right. So, okay, so we're finding the rate. All right, who's making more money? Well, all right, so let's look over at our graph that we've got. And like I said, I'm filling it in with you because I want you to see what we've got going on here. So the first thing I want you to notice is we've got hours that are down here. All right, and up over here, we've got money. Again, we know it's always Y divided by X. So in this case, our x-axis always goes left to right. The y-axis goes up and down. So in this particular case, I know it's going to be the money on the top and the hours on the bottom. Now, we talked about this always happens. This all, So we can use that to help ourselves out. That money is always on top. Time is always on the bottom. But we can also use the axis labels as well. So let's see what we've got here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we can grab whichever ones that we want. I'm going to choose the whole numbers because, well, <laughs> a little bit easier to work with that. Again, you've got your calculator. You can just punch that in. So I've got the money over the hours. So I need the money, which is the 63, all right, and then over the hours, excuse me, I paused there, which is the six. Um, and this is why we label it out there, because I was like, wait a second, it's flipped. And in this particular case, it is. So when we go ahead and we punch that into our calculator here, all right, so 63 divided by seven, we get, our calculator says 10.5. Now, we know this is $10.50 for the one hour that we're looking at. So again, using the other pieces is going to help you set up information regarding your table. So when we look over at the particular graph, one of the order pairs, so let's get to there. We've got a zero that's here. We've got a two that's there. We've got a two that's over there. We're skipping a spot, and then we're getting ourselves to a four as well. So you can see we're actually counting by ones when it comes down to it. But what you want to notice is who's that first point matching up with. So we're skipping a spot and a 10, skipping a spot and then a 20. That very first spot is at the ordered pair two 20. So I don't even need anyone else. Even though they've given me the order pair and we got a 30 there and then a 40 that's there. Even though they've given me the order pair four and then up to 40, that's fine. I can use those, all right? Um, I can use those particular numbers, but even when I do that, no matter what, when I do the x, if I do the y divided by the x, it's not going to make a difference. So that's why I only got to grab the 1. So this is going to give me 10, and it's going to be $10 for the 1 particular hour that we're looking at. So as of right now, oh, it's kind of, there we go, it's a little bit better. Um, who's making more money? Well, right now, Kevin's in the lead. Well, here's the thing about it. If we go to our, ex, our, our, our equation that we've got here, remember the last time we filled out the table, all right? One of the things that you'll notice is this guy right here, that's always the rate. Always, always, always. So there's actually no need to fill out the table. Um, we can just simply use that piece of information, which means Aaron's making $11.50 for the one particular hour. That's it. I mean, if you want to plug the one in, and that's fine. Um, but anytime we've got our equation, all right, um, this is always going to be the rate that we are dealing with. So in this particular case, who's making the most money? It is Aaron. 
All right. Um, and I can see that because it's 1150 an hour. And so that is the most that we're looking at. So really all that we've added on here is, <laughs> hey, listen, when you want to find the unit rate with the equation, it's staring right at you. Vroom, that's it. Um, but um, if we need our table, all right, or our graph, we need to do the y divided by the x, and we can use that to help figure out who matches up. So start writing this information out. Don't just try to jump straight to the answer right away. That's where your frustration is going to set in at. Um, one is you're noticing it's all about the setup, all right, and if we don't know the setup, well, that's when... Um, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Game over. All right. So that's the big thing we're after is you now have to focus on the setup that we are looking at. Um, that's it for tonight, people.